Hello everyone, welcome to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how can we connect Google Authentication systems into our website or web app. In the previous video, we have seen that how can we connect the default Django Authentication systems into our website. If you have not seen that video, I will give the link of that video in the description below. You can just visit there and watch that video. And guys, please make sure that you have subscribed our YouTube channels. Trust me guys, it takes a lot of time to make a video. Your love and support keeps me motivated to make a video. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends who are interested to learn Django. So without wasting your time, let's begin it. So finally we have in our dashboard. So now let's open our VS Code first. So let's install the Django all out first. Tip install Django all out. Let it install. And finally it has installed successfully. So now let let's integrate the Django all out systems into our install app. So here I will copy all the code from the website. I will provide a link of this website in, in the description box so you can go there and simply catch up this code. Okay. That is save. And after that, we also need to add the middleware here. Okay. Let's edit. Uh, we have done with that. Now in the authentication backends, uh, where we need to add here. Okay. We have added this. Now after that, we also need to add this. Okay. So finally, I have added this, and our client, our client ID is not present yet. So let's drop it. Okay. And here, login URL. We will take the login of it. Login. And after in the return nation, I want to return. After login, it will redirect to the game okay and after log out it will again redirect to the login dashboard okay so we have done with that setup so in the urls part we also need to this urls okay so it here this line a lot of urls after that save it so we have done with the settings urls so now let's make it all the file I minus dot by uh, let expand this terminal okay make migration okay here uh, no model name request error is showing okay so here we need to install the request okay so I am installing it okay final we have done with that now let migration make migration so we also need to install the JWT. Let's install it. Pip install JWT. Okay, we have done with that. Let's also again migrate. So finally our migration is done. Now again migrate it. Okay. So let's see. Migrate. Okay, fine, it is done. Now again run our server okay so now let's open it and refresh the page let's log in here log in successfully and check in the admin panel so here the site matching why does not exist it already showing okay so we need to initialize the site map in the settings.py file so let's go here we have not keep the site map so let's put it here so let's slice here okay now let's save it now again checking it refresh the page now again it is showing error okay so let's change it to one and save it up to that again refreshing the page fine it is done now login okay now it is working fine 
so we have done with the django setup now let's integrate the google authentication systems by using their google plus api so for it we need to visit the google cloud console platform google cloud console i will give the link of this website in the description you can just go there and visit and make a setup what i am setting here you just go and set up that and finally it will work okay so click on the google cloud platform and after that we need to get our projects so here in the new project just click on it and set up here okay so i am giving it the name tango tango auth okay so just create it and after creating it uh let it be activated so finally it is done now click on it so we have in, in the django auth projects just cut it and let's go on the api and services after that in the library we need to find the google plus api so so here it is google plus api okay now let's enable it first so finally we have enabled the api now again come here auth constant screen and we are here we need to set up the click on the external just get it after that give the app name so i am giving the here uh, django a lot or simply django auth. you can name it whatever you want okay i'm supporting here according to glory okay uh if you want then you can upload your logo here so i'm just leaving it for that you need to give the developer id so i have another account according to glory i'm using that okay so now let's save and continue again again need to save it again you need to click on the save button and again save it after that click on the back to back to dashboard so finally all the setup related to that is done now let's visit on the credential part and here click on the create credentials and after that click on the oauth client id and let's i am giving this for the web application and after that just add a url so i am adding here and i also want to add the local host so if you if you have a domain and want to host the website then please give the link of your domain name here okay after that just click on the create button so finally it is created and after that it will give you the client id and the client secret key just copy it and paste into your django project so i am from here i am just copying client id and in the settings in the setting on the social account providers just copy the client id here okay and after that again copy the secret key so just paste it here and save it so finally all the setup related to this have been done now again we need to integrate the url of this google into our, our template file so now let's visit it enlarging this now let's exporting our template file the index template and in the beginning here is our forget password login and here's a login with facebook and login with google okay i'll put it here so i provide a link again here is also just put it here again save the file and after that let us start our server again okay
So let's visit. So we have seen that the provided link URL error. So we need to load this tag again. Okay. So let's loading it in the above. We need to load the tag. Okay. So let's load it. Click save. And again refresh. Refresh it. And let's try with the login with the Google. And finally, we have done with that. And let when you click on the continue section, then it will open the Google. So I am just clicking here, coding to glory. And final done. And after clicking, so it is showing that there is a mismatch with the JWT and by JWT. So let's first uninstall JWT, and after that, we will install by JWT. Okay. So let's first install it. Yes. So done with that. Now, now install the JWT. Okay. So final done. Now let's start our server. Done server. Now again checking it. Hope it will work. Okay. So it is showing failure. I am again refreshing my page. And let's try again. Continue. According to glory. Continue. Okay. Finally, login successfully with the Google Authentication systems. So when we click just log out here, then it, it has gone and you have been log out. Message has been sent here. Okay. In this way, you can integrate your Google Authentication systems into your project. On the next video, we will see how can we integrate the Facebook authentication systems into our website. Till now, keep watching and keep coding. Thank you for watching the video.